Now back to the beginning. This is 6.1, maxima and minima. And all that essentially means is the maximum and minimum. So right now we're going to be looking at uh, the, the vertex and saying if it was a maximum or minimum. Remember from before, the A value helped us decide whether this was a maximum or a minimum. A minimum opens up and a maximum opens down because it has a maximum or a high spot and this one has a minimum or a low spot. So a minimum is when the A value is positive, so greater than zero. And the maximum is when it's negative and you have a value less than zero. So right now, the one last thing that we have not talked about is how to get to vertex form. So we have standard form, we have factored form, and we know how to get to factored form. But how do we get to vertex form? Vertex form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. We have our standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So in order to get from standard form to vertex form, which our vertex here is h comma k, so the opposite of the h, and then you keep k the same. To get to here, this process is called completing the square. And this is what we're going to learn right now, so that we'll be able to get all the x-intercepts, get the vertex form, everything will be covered. Uh, for our quadratics. So here's some steps on how to complete the square. So first you're going to factor the a value out of the first two terms and then leave a space. Then you're going to take your new b value from the brackets and you're going to do b divided by 2 and then that 2 there should be squared. So it should be in, uh, up in the exponent. Take the value of step 2 and then you're going to um, add it in the bracket. So add it in the bracket and then subtract it in the bracket leave the c value at the end just to hang out. Factor the first three terms and then you're going to multiply the a value by the fourth term to get it out of the bracket. Then you will simplify and then you'll be able to state the vertex. Now this doesn't make sense right now but we'll do the example and hopefully it will. So the first step is to factor the a value out of the first two terms. So then we have y equals 2x plus 6x and then it said leave a space, and then the c value comes to the end and just hangs out for the rest of the time. So remember what we've done in this first two is we've made a common factor of two. So what we've done is we've actually divided by two to get to here, and that should have a squared. So we divided the two out of the first two terms, and then we left the c at the end. The next step is with the new b value, you're going to do b divided by two and then square it. So our new b value is six. So we're going to do 6 divided by 2 squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9. The next step is that we're going to add it in the bracket and then subtract it in the bracket. So that means we go plus 9 minus 9. Now I want you to notice plus 9 minus 9, all that equals is 0. So we have not changed this quadratic at all because all we've added here is a plus 0, which will not change the equation. So if we keep going, the next step is to factor the first three terms. And if you notice, this here is a perfect square. So if we factor it, it's also a simple trinomial. So it's two numbers that multiply to get positive 9 and add to get positive 6. So those values will be plus 3 and x plus 3. And then to get this last negative 9 term out of the bracket, notice it's stuck inside the bracket, we have to multiply this 2 by it to get it out. So that means 2 times negative 9 is negative 18, and then we still have the plus 11 coming along to hang out at the end. y equals, we have the same thing multiplied by itself, which means we can write that as a perfect square. x plus 3, all squared, and if we simplify this, then we get that this is minus 7. And now you can see that we have it in vertex form. So our vertex would be the opposite of the middle one, negative 3. And then the last one will stay the same, which is negative 7. The A value is positive, so this is an opening up. It is a minimum. So our question asked for the maximum value. It should have said ask for the minimum value. So the minimum value is the Y part of the vertex. The minimum value in this case is negative 7. Now, I just want to point out quickly that this value here, positive 3, notice when we did b divided by 2 squared. 
there is a shortcut where you could go from here right to this one because we know that the 3, the B divided by 2, the answer you get in here is the value that goes inside your perfect square. So if you have a question about that, make sure you write that down and then you can ask that question in class. That was the process of completing the square.